In this video, I will show you how to create uncensored videos of anything. As you can see, there has never been a better time to create AI videos. However, not many people actually know how to create uncensored videos. And I will show you exactly how to make these uncensored videos from start to finish. So make sure you stick around to the end. But can't I just use ChatGPT? No, the new ChatGPT update lets you do a lot but it's not uncensored and it has many restrictions. For example, I told it to generate an image of Elon Musk pointing a gun at the camera. Obviously it can't do that. However, when I told it to generate Elon Musk wearing rainbow colored outfit, hugging a teddy bear, no problem. There's a clear bias on what it can and cannot generate, which is why uncensored videos are so important. However, creating uncensored videos seems a lot harder, which is why 99% of people stick to the censored models. But there are so many tools, Runway ML, Higgsfield, Firefly, Hilu, Sora, Picolabs, the list of video generators just never ends, but none of those websites generate uncensored videos. And that's okay. We just need them to generate an uncensored image. Once we have those uncensored images, we can then turn those images into uncensored videos with one of these video generation tools. And I know that I just said that there's a lot of video generation tools you can use, but I'll just show you the best ones. But now is honestly the best time for you to get into this. Just a few years ago, we were all laughing at the Will Smith spaghetti video. And just yesterday, the Door Brothers released this crazy AI music video, which shows you just how far we've come. So to create these uncensored videos, you're gonna to wanna to go to Mimic PC. This website basically hosts open source uncensored AI models for you to use. So you don't even need a good PC. And as you can see, there is a lot you can do with this website. Also, if you look at the pricing, it's not that expensive. You basically pay per hour, depending on how powerful of a PC you choose. But you don't even need to worry about this because everyone gets access to, I think it's 50 cents of free credit when you sign up. By the way, this is not a sponsored video. Anyway, when you're ready, click up here on free launch and sign into your account. Okay, so then what you're gonna wanna do is find this focus app. When you find the focus app, you can simply click on get started. And here we have the option to choose the hardware we're gonna use. I'm just gonna choose ultra but honestly you don't even need this for this model i think larger will be fine and here you can set up a runtime so that it automatically stops when it gets to that time just so you don't lose extra credits so i'm gonna just leave it at 30 minutes and then we can just create and start now it's going to take like up to two minutes to load but if it doesn't launch all you got to do is cancel and then relaunch it again that happened to me once now while this is launching i'm just going to ask you guys to subscribe if you are enjoying the content because 94 percent of you guys are not subscribed anyway focus is now launched as you can see our timer is running here whenever you finish you can just click on stop or you can relaunch if it's like super buggy you can ignore everything to the right and let's just focus on this little box over here i'm going to click on advanced just so that we have more settings and i know this looks a bit more complicated than something like ChatGPT, but don't worry it's super super simple this is the reason why everyone uses these censored models because of the small barrier of entry but you have a lot more creative liberty with these on sensor models. Okay, what's a good test for censorship? I think someone holding a gun is like the first one, right? So let's just say Donald Trump pointing a gun at an innocent woman. I mean, if you want, you can try add this prompt to ChatGPT. I'm not even gonna try because I know it's not gonna work. But over here on the preset, I'm gonna select realistic. Then in the styles, you can hover over them and see what kind of style you wanna go for. I mean, you can choose all these different ones, but I'm just gonna leave it as is. Then in models, this automatically gave me a LoRa, which I'm going to turn off. LoRa is low rank adaptation. Basically, if you wanna train a model, you can do that. But for now, we're gonna keep it as none. And image number, I'm gonna leave at two. Aspect ratio, I'm just gonna do 1280. Wait, seven, six, eight, and let's just click generate. Let's see what happens. Okay, so it gave me these two images, and this one looks pretty good, to be honest. I'm gonna save this for now. Obviously, this is not some prompt engineering 101 training here, but we have our first image. So if you wanna save it, just click on it, right click, and then save image as. Okay, I'm gonna generate one more image. This one is gonna be Vladimir Putin smoking a cigarette wearing Adidas tracksuit. And this time, I want more images, not two, so I scrolled down to image number and I chose five. So now we have five options to choose from. Okay, this one looks pretty good, so I'm also gonna save this. Okay, but just before we turn that image into a video, if you scroll down a bit and you check the input image box we've even more stuff that we can do to the image so obviously we can upscale the image we can use the image as an image prompt or we can add like a specific feature in the image by using in paint which i can show you now so let's take the image i just generated let's select this area over here and in the prompt i'm just going to say cat and also i want to show a bit more of its right shoulder because it's cutting off a little bit here so in out paint direction i'm just going to check the right box and now with this section selected with the prompt given and with the out paint direction chosen I'm just gonna click on generate. <laughs> and okay, this is not exactly what we wanted. I kind of wanted the cat to be on the left side, but instead the cat got added to the right where we're adding the out paint. So okay, now I'm just going to uncheck this and hopefully it's gonna add the cat to here. Okay, and as you can see, I selected this portion on the left over here, told it to add a cat, and it did just that. This is how you customize these images in detail. If you spend a lot of time giving it the right prompts, generating a bunch of samples, picking the best one, and then touching up that sample, you're gonna get a pretty good image. Keep in mind, this is totally uncensored, by the way. You can go a lot crazier than telling 
Putin to smoke a cigarette. But obviously I'm not gonna show the NSFW stuff and I'm also not gonna encourage it. That to me isn't really the point of generating these uncensored videos. It's more so for the free speech factor. But I wanna encourage you to actually go and use these tools. As you've just seen, it's really not that difficult. And trust me, this skill is going to be really good to have going into the future. But anyway, now that we have some images, we can stop just so that we save our credits. And then we're gonna move to the first tool, which is Halo AI. So obviously when you get to here, I think you get free credits as well, but you're gonna wanna sign in and then click on create video. When you're at this page, just simply drag the picture we just made, let it upload, and then click on insert camera movements down here. And here you can preview the different camera movements. So I'm gonna just select pull out and let it generate by clicking on these gems down here. Now this tool is a little bit older than the other ones I'm gonna show you, but it's still really good. Higgsfield is much, much newer, but for my experience, it's better with like filmmaking and movies, but we'll put it to the test anyway. I'm gonna input my image and with no prompt, I'm just going to generate it. Now you might be wondering, Magic, why aren't you using Runway ML? They just dropped Gen 4, it's amazing. Sure, let's test it then, right? So this is a pretty safe shot if you ask me, someone just smoking a cigarette. It's nothing too crazy, there's no guns. I don't think it's violating any rules. Let's generate, right? Boom, generation may violate usage policy around the rights of others. So Runway, unfortunately, will not generate you your uncensored images. That's why we are using the other two tools, which are not as crazy as the new feature in Pika Labs, which literally just released. And I'll show you that in just a moment, but our generation is ready. But there you have it. Obviously the beginning isn't that good, but however, from this moment, I would say it's all right. I mean, as you can see, I managed to generate some pretty good stuff earlier on. Elon Musk driving with Elon Musk and drinking. This is just a video of Elon Musk studying. I don't know why it's all Elon Musk, but let's check out Higgsfield. This tool is actually pretty new. And I mean, this looks pretty good. It's a lot more realistic with the smoke, even though there's some smoke like kind of coming up from his finger. This was just our first generation. Obviously, if you spend a bit more time with this, if you choose better prompts and generate it a few more times, you can get some pretty good stuff with this. But anyway, going back to this tool, this tool just released a feature, which allows you to add, I believe, up to five different frames to use them as like transition shots, which you might've seen in some of the AI videos. So let's do that. The site is called Pika Labs. And when you get to it, you'll see this screen with templates. Simply click on get started with Pika Labs and it'll give you the ability to add all these different frames so now let's just drag in one of the images we generated then let's do another image you can describe a transition but i'm just going to leave it i'm going to click on generate and see what happens okay but while this is loading i'm just going to show you this one so which is elon musk smoking then he walks over sits down <laughs> next to some girl and then all the transitions are pretty bad but i like that first transition i thought it was pretty cool but okay let's check out this transition It's okay. Keep in mind, we just done this with two images, but you can't really tell it's Elon Musk until just the very, very end. So, okay, what I'm gonna do is maybe add another image of Putin afterwards. So if you wanna add more images, you simply click on more frames. And so let's redo this. Let's add that Elon Musk back in. Then let's add another one. And let's just generate that. Okay, now let's check it out. So it goes from Putin smoking. Okay, that was nice. <laughs> then it goes, okay, I think what would be nicer is if we loop it, but this is getting there. So what we're gonna do is click on this loop over here, which will basically go back to the original image so that we can see, I guess, a nice loop. So let's retry that. Now we have this looped. So it goes from Putin smoking to Elon smoking. It's a pretty bad transition, but you get the point. <laughs> this one's better. These are the sort of transitions that the Door Brothers use, but obviously they spend a lot more time on their videos and they have much better quality than something like this. But if you want to take this to the next level, you got to use image references so that they all match the same consistent style. You can even change all of their clothes so that they're all wearing the same clothes. And you can have some very smooth transitions with this. And as I said earlier, there is so much you can do with uncensored videos. I mean, just look at these views. 10 million on some AI-generated video. And I know I was hating a bit on ChatGPT earlier. It's still a really good tool. Like, for example, if we take the image of Putin smoking, rather than using Photoshop, we can just customize this image even more. Like, say, for example, we want this to be on a beach. We just give it a prompt saying, change the entire background of this image to be on a beach. And as you can see, it did just that. And obviously now what we could do is download this image, import it back into one of the video generators, and we could get another video. But I'm not going to do that. I think you get the point. If you made it this far, I think you'll enjoy the MM Bootcamp. I have an entire video editing course on there so you can learn the fundamentals. You'll know which AI tools you should be using as a video editor, how to save time with AI, and how to use these tools like the top 1%. So if you want to join the MM Bootcamp, the link is down below. But if not, that's totally cool. And I'll see you next time.